hello everyone hope you all are doing good <clears throat> and in this video we are going to discuss uh, that how much uh, programming knowledge or how much code you should be well versed with in order to clear and as get rounds in some good organizations so <clears throat> before we start uh, i want to clarify some things that uh, by as get here means uh, so like i have made a dedicated video on the difference between an automation engineer and an sdet role but uh, just to give you an brief idea so an like according to me an automation engineer is someone who can like write down scripts in an already created framework or like who understand uh, how to pick up xpaths and basic stuff and he can uh, contrary butin uh, like existing framework okay but an sdet is someone so sdet stands for like software development engineer in test okay so by this you mean an development engineer so a more is expected of, out of an sdet engineer and uh, from him or her it is uh, expected that uh, he or she can make the framework from scratch and not just uh, like making framework but he can understand the like at least understand the development code understand uh, dev code and can write the unit test cases so this is the basic minimum which is uh, expected out of an sdet in some good organizations again by good organization i mean some product based uh, organization like adobe or sprinkler or let's say snp global so these are some like good product based organization and very basic like i'm not talking about adobe like uh, the apple and google one okay so this is for like uh, initial good organizations okay so now you understand like uh, who is an sdet and uh, what is expected uh, out of him so let's understand that how you as an like automation or manual engineer can uh, pick up a role as an sdet in an organization so <clears throat> first and foremost uh, is that if you are like below 2 years then select the language of uh, your choice so i have seen 90% of the guys uh, going with java then the craze is for c sharp and at last uh, like python is uh, nowadays also picking up the pace like most of the ai and ml guy go for python but uh, still like 80% of the guys are in java and 10% <clears throat> are in c sharp and the rest of them are in like python and other languages okay so as you can see on uh, net also that uh, most of the resources are available free for java and the community support is also good for that so i will also suggest you to uh, stick with uh, java itself okay and once you have picked up your language so try to understand the basics of it by basic uh, basics i mean that uh, you should be well versed with the oops concept in java okay and in that like uh, you should uh, you should know what does uh, like abstraction do not just mean okay so there is a difference between like knowing the definition and uh, understanding what it actually does so you should be in a position to like know what does abstraction polymorphism inheritance all these terms uh, do and uh, okay apart from that like what are constructors how they are different from normal methods and everything so like uh, just some basic stuff so i consider uh, java oops as basic and after learning and uh, like programming some programs on that and uh, once you feel comfortable with the oops concepts then uh, go with the data structures in data structures also like uh, start with uh, basic arrays okay then uh, like go with the list so you got my point right so just start with the basic like 
play with arrays and uh, just uh, like pick up a program to reverse an array and sort an array some these kind of programs basic um, programs and these basic programs uh, so these are not even in the like uh, easy list of lead code okay so after after this your journey actually starts okay and uh, just um, for the safer side i'll also like uh, suggest you to like learn the collection framework so that it will help you both ways so in coding also and then like creating framework so like uh, you should know what what is a set what is a list like what is a map okay what is a hash map so the basic uh, like uh, not just basic like you should understand what is in collection framework and where and how to uh, use the particular uh, data structure so if if in a program you are using a hash map okay let's say we have a list okay so like 1 for a 2 for b so we have a uh, we have a this kind of key value pairs and it is a list and we are selecting hash map so understand that why only we are using hash map and why not some other data structure okay so like most of the things can be interchanged and uh, like other data structures can be used but if we are selecting this then what is what is the reason behind that okay so once you are like uh, once you are through the collection framework then start with some easy lead code problems and uh, like you will find uh, a list and maybe I can comment down below in the description box, box uh, some basic uh, easy lead code problems. So just practice them and if you are not able to practice them that means that you have to go back and uh, see and uh, like maybe revise your data structures. Okay and now the basic part is that if you have to be an SD, you should be in a position to at least solve the medium problems of lead code not just all but probably like so once uh, once such problem that i can remember right now uh, let me try to show it to you that problem so if you are able to so there was this third problem on lead code yeah this problem so i'll suggest you guys to just practice it and see if you are able to solve it and if you are able to solve it then that means that uh, like you are in a position to become an as yet otherwise you need some more practice so longest substring without repeating characters so what uh, it says that given a string s find the length of longest without repeating characters okay so if we have repeated uh, they are saying this a b c a so a is repeating that means the longest uh, substring is a b c 3 okay and b b b and then like it is getting repeated so one like single b will be there and if p w w so w is getting repeated okay in that case uh, here it is 2 but like uh, w is repeating after this so this is the longest substring okay so this is like if if they would have said like uh, find the first occurrence like repeating occurrence so it would have been in the easy problem but here the thing is that uh, like the initial and the endpoints are getting change okay so this is a case of sliding window problem so how like i'm not going to give the solution for this but maybe i can uh, like give you an idea so let me see it again okay no not just see it like take, take our own example so a b c a d so this is our initial pointer and uh, <coughs> this is our second pointer so we have to take two pointers and uh, we have to like increment 
this uh, j pointer after each so here 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 and we have to match it this with this and if it is equal then we have to stop our search and uh, this is the this is not the answer but we have to like store this uh, so like var is equal to 3 after that we have to increase the initial so in the next uh, like in the second iteration i will be here and we have to start uh, j from here itself so i will be 1 and j will be 1 and uh, 2 and uh, 3 so bc ad is also a uh, solution and the third one is uh, like we have to increase i once more and in that case i will be 2 and j will be 2 and similarly we have to do that do this okay so the thing is that uh, after each iteration uh, like there is this uh, window which is uh, getting slided so this is in case of sliding a sliding window problem and like this comes under the medium uh, like difficulty so if you are able to solve this then like uh, you are ready otherwise uh, like you have to work on it okay and i'm not talking about the hard problems because like after you are um, like okay with me medium you can proceed with the hard problems but like initially i'll suggest you to solve the easy and medium ones like first uh, what my approach uh, will be solve uh, 10 easy uh, then two medium and if i am able to solve two medium then one hard okay then repeat the same uh, iteration two medium and uh, one hard okay so like i'm currently working on it so this is the approach which i follow now like is there any dsa course required uh, so i'll suggest you that uh, like most of the things are easily available uh, but for that you have to like uh, for some uh, let's say for some problems you have to go to like uh, geek for geeks and in some problem you have to go to some youtube channel then there's some blog okay so you have to wonder um, like many places and if you purchase any dso course then in that case uh, like you get everything in one plate so like there also you have to like learn and put in efforts but uh, the content is easily available and um, like your most of the time will be focused on practicing and not just looking for the solutions or okay uh, how we have achieved it and like if you have some dsa course then like you can ask some doubts also so that is also something good so which dsa course uh, maybe i can like make some other video that which dsa course uh, should you go for and uh, that's it guys like if you are able to uh, like this is a kind of uh, what do you call it a path which you can follow to be an SDET if you are currently in manual or uh, automation testing okay and uh, in case uh, you felt that I missed something just uh, comment down below and one more thing which I would like to discuss today is that like I get so many queries that okay um, like I'm working as a manual tester in a same organization from past eight years then how to switch okay so see guys like wherever you are and like in whichever position you are just uh, focus on improving yourself okay so one day at a time just uh, or probably focus on one week and let's say if you are currently in manual testing okay although like i'm diverting from the topic and uh, like some telling something different but uh, i think this is necessary because like every day i get at least uh, like one or two queries or problems that like i'm stuck in automation testing how do i switch uh, okay it has been like 10 years for me so as a rule of thumb like if you are above 10 years then obviously things will be little less for you and it will be hard for you to switch but if you are below that and even if you are like at 10 years of experience okay so i'll suggest you to improve uh, like practice just one program daily okay or just uh, like take one topic and see in how many days uh, you can cover it if it take two days just like make a commitment that okay you are after two days you will be in a position 
which is better than the uh, what you were two days before okay so if you are currently at x you have to get it y and uh, i'm sure like if you keep patience you will arrive at your destination sooner or later okay so if everything is going good for you then like don't try to be a hero okay just have some humility and if things are not uh, like falling apart for you just have some patience and uh, trust the process and keep on learning i'm sure like uh, you will reach uh wherever you want to reach okay so that's it guys just little extra gyan but uh, i think that was necessary okay thank you guys